It was a great event. I love seafair. We'd be out in the middle there, and if it was typical of a warm day. Over the side, swimming <laughs> was allowed. Uh, Old Man 4 is the Admiral's yacht, or barge, actually. It's not really a yacht. It's a 50-foot boat built here in Puget Sound, uh, oh, 60 years ago or something. But the Navy's kept it in tip-top shape. And uh, so we... Uh, we were the, uh, we had all the flags on board and we, we started the races and we flagged the winners. Uh, so it was similar to, uh, to uh, opening day in that uh, even though opening day was run by the Seattle Yacht Club and operated out of here, we had a lot of Navy participation in that, uh, various size boats and so forth. Even had one commander who was a friend of mine decided that he could bring his ship in here. And I said, well, I don't know about that. And so he, he came, put, in, put his uh, small boat in the water and took soundings and he said he could make it. Well, he was coming in, he made a bad turn and ran the ground. <laughs> Which is something a Navy captain shouldn't do. Uh, he's, uh, he's retired here in this area. He's a nice man. He had a good career. Uh, that didn't ruin his career, <laughs> but uh, he was adamant that he was going to going to bring that boat through the cut. I wanted to show you a picture out there of the uh, when we leave. Remind me to do that of the when they drained the Lake Washington into uh, uh, Lake Union. If you've never seen that, it's, it's an interesting picture. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we did participate. Uh, Seafair was a big deal to us. Of course, we had the Blue Angels, and we were in charge of the Blue Angels. I almost lost my career over that, though, because we forgot to invite them one year. And um, they had already filled out their schedule. And, well, it was uh, actually the job of the public affairs officer to do that, and he forgot it. And therefore, I forgot it. But anyway, we began to ask around. We, we asked the Secretary of the Navy, and he said, no, that's not my bailiwick. That's Department of Defense anyway, not Navy. So the next thing that uh, we went to the, to the Secretary of Defense, and he said, no, he wouldn't change the Blue Angel schedule for anybody. We go on and on. Well, fortunately, the Admiral knew a fellow who was the... Uh, fundraiser in Washington State for George Bush the first. And uh, so he called him and lo and behold, the Blue Angels showed up. Uh, but uh, that, was, that was a close call. Oh, I remember the flag raising quite dramatically because uh, we had the band, which was in his building and uh, across the street, would come out there and they would play at 8 o'clock and march up and down the street. Uh, and so I always, I was always there before eight. So, so that was it. Uh, it was a, it was a good event, and, and it brought back a lot of good memories. And the taps in the evening. Once in a while, I was there, but uh, you know, I, eight o'clock. Sometimes when I would usually catch them, we had a movie theater on the base, and if I happened to be going to the theater, movie that night, I'd make sure that I was outside for, for taps. Probably, if you want to know, the, was, the hardest thing we did was try and find a place to move Sandpoint. Uh, and uh, the, it really was not our decision. It turned out later because Sec or, uh, Senator Scoop Jackson wanted it in Everett. <laughs> and when he talked to the Secretary of the Navy, that sort of we, but we went and visited and we talked to uh, both the Admiral and I would split the duties, but we talked to almost everybody that could uh, could possibly uh, have base it there, you know, uh, from as far north uh, as uh, Bellingham to as far south as, uh, uh, where were you from? Kelso Longview. Longview, yeah. We, and, you know, I felt bad about it because those people really needed the the financial input that we could have given and did give Everett. 
But Everett didn't need it like Kelso Longview and Bellingham did. They really were hurting, and still are, I think, a bit. And I felt bad that, you know, they came there with bells on, all enthusiastic, and big dinners and big turnouts of people and wanted to hear, because they thought they were going to get it because I showed up there, or the Admiral showed up. But I think down deep we knew it wasn't going to happen. I met St. Magnuson only once when uh, they opened NOAA, but I never, uh, never, uh, we had a seafare one time at Sandpoint, I don't know, I don't, was not, uh, not while I was there, but it, uh, they, they had the races out there and uh, everybody was kind of enthusiastic about that, keeping it there, but it never happened, I don't know the background on that, why that, folded. Um, but uh, Magnuson and uh, Jackson were great supporters of, of the base. Uh, some of the local legislators weren't. <laughs> and, uh, I won't go into those. Uh, <laughs>